In this work, he has captured the typical behavior of his family during load shedding, and the artwork celebrates the fact that all electrical devices are set aside during these blackouts, allowing the family to interact with each other face-to-face -to, -face to talk, laugh, and play games. We're referring to the work of Sasol New Signatures 2019 winner Patrick, who bagged the award last week for his oil canvas on work uh, titled Stage 4 Moments. The 24-year-old, who is uh, currently completing a national diploma in fine arts at the Tswane University of Technology, joins us uh, from our Pretoria studios to tell us all about his accolade. Patrick, a very good morning. Thank you so much for making it to the show. What does it mean to you personally to be named the Sassel New Signatures 2019 winner? Uh, thank you very much for having me, having me in the show. Uh, well, this show is um, very prestigious. And uh, for me, it's such an honor uh, to win this competition. So uh, because it's a national competition and you had to look at the scale. So for one person to really uh, make uh, to the uh, like number one spot is such a, a privilege. I'm so happy and I can't even believe uh, what just happened. But I am grateful. I spoke a little bit uh, about the work uh, that you uh, uh, entered for the competition in our intro, your oil canvas. Bring us into, I mean, the theme number one that you explored with this artwork. And was this a, a personal story that you wanted to share with the rest of us uh, through your entry? Yes, definitely. It's a very uh, personal story uh, because as it is titled Stage 4 Memons, um, here I talk about the load shedding um, um, in my family. So um, in my family when uh, there is uh, load shedding, uh, it inspires us because we really uh, get to uh, be together in uh, the house. Uh, we have more uh, physical uh, interaction. Uh, we laugh, we tease each other, uh, we play games of the dark. So. Um, in this case, uh, load shading really inspires us to be together uh, because when there is electricity, uh, we are entertained by technology, you know, uh, electrical devices, our phones, our uh, yeah, gadgets. So um, this painting is not really to complain about uh, load shading like everyone uh, is, like would use, would use to but uh, is to celebrate those dark moments that are given by these uh, circumstances. Patrick, stage four load shedding was a very uh, dark and miserable time for a lot of South Africans. How would you uh, inspire others who maybe uh, do not have um, electricity or those who will experience load shedding or, um, you know, just to get together as a family and, and start communicating to each other instead of their phones? What would you say to encourage those families? Yeah, well, because... Uh, Remember that you know electricity is just a a modern uh, I think you know people that have just invested uh, over the you know yeah hundred or two hundred years ago. So we are not really uh, being controlled by the very uh, uh, electricity that we have, though it is uh, very significant in our modern life. It makes life uh, very fast, but uh, uh, within us we have. Uh, you know the the nature of interacting with each other without you know having the help or the assistance of these electrical devices so um, that's what my painting really try to uh, portray the message that uh, we have more uh, quality time um, compared when we are entertained by these um, devices Patrick, you're currently completing a national diploma in fine arts at the Tswane University of Technology. Um, I want you to please speak to us about your love for art and where it comes from. Uh, well, um, I've started, um, uh, you know, taking my art serious uh, after matriculating. Um, I didn't know about uh, going to school at first place, I thought that I was going to be a, a full-time artist, uh, not even uh, like acquiring formal education. 
So um, in 2017, I enrolled in uh, at TUT at campus and in visual arts. And that's where I, I started to, to learn more about art because I was a street artist. And street art don't really have uh, much to tell uh, instead of painting elephants and, you know, those are uh, common art. But uh, going to school has really helped me so much because they get to uh, uh, teach you uh, the concepts, uh, conceptual part of the, of, of the art uh, uh, industry. So um, it has been very helpful for me. And it is also uh, through uh, TUT Art Campus that I get to be introduced to, to Sasol Music Niches. It is very connected. You get to uh, see people and yeah, talk about art, eat art everywhere. So yeah, that's um, how it has been done. Patrick, just to wrap it up, because we are out of time, I want you to please uh, just tell us who's been supporting you in terms of your art, who's been a part of your journey right from the beginning up until now. And also, what do you think competitions such as the Cecil New Signatures do for upcoming artists such as yourself? Uh, well, my family, uh, they've been supporting me. My mom, uh, uh, she's been supporting me very much. And also, I have uh, quite few uh, mentors that I, I go to when I really uh, need help. Uh, it's Azael Langa, Funzo Sigoti, Betem Belusi, and Shafa. There are so many. Uh, uh, so they've been helpful to me. And uh, the competition uh, by itself, uh, it is, uh, I just lost my speech. <laughs> but yeah, Not thank you problem, so much. Patrick. Yeah. Not a problem at all. You are the winner of the New Signatures 2019 a winner. And if you lose your speech, well, you know what? You've won other things. Thank you so much for your time. That was Patrick, who is currently completing a national diploma in a fine arts at the Tuana University of Technology. He won the coveted award for his oil canvas on his work uh, titled Stage for Money.